Welcome back investors and stock market traders. My name is Jeff. Tesla unveiled their new Cybertruck. Now guys, if you are not familiar, you have not watched highlights of this, you know, I'm going to go through some of that in this video. I'm going to try to hit the high points, kind of get in and get out. Uh, there was some really funny things that happened during the presentation of Tesla's new Cybertruck. I think this is a very exciting thing for Tesla. And then of course, I do want to discuss what the reaction in the stock market was okay very different than what i anticipated now of course i never try to play calls or puts or make short-term trades based on this type of thing where a new product is getting rolled out because sometimes you might get it right other times you might get it wrong i find it to be kind of a coin flip you never really know how the analysts are going to respond to this type of thing uh, right down here though i will just go ahead and give you a little spoiler the truck was supposed to have unbreakable glass as you can see <laughs> that was not exactly what happened i would show you the clip here on youtube but i don't want to get a community guideline strike so i'll uh i'll probably just link up the video where they're throwing the big metal ball at the window and it shatters so let's get into the details. Let's go over some of the high points of the new cyber truck that Tesla is going to be offering. Let's talk about the reaction, the stock scene on Friday, and then let's talk about what we should be thinking about from here going forward. Obviously, Tesla just had the best earnings report in company history. The stock is up 30 to 40%, performing quite, quite well. And guys, I really see Tesla turning the corner now, okay? I really see Tesla turning into a better company than they once were where they are more focused on fundamentals and profitability. Instead of just riding the coattails of Elon Musk's vision, this is becoming a real company that returns money to shareholders. And uh, we might not be out of the woods yet. We might have a couple more bumpy quarters ahead of us, but that's part of investing in the stock market. We're never gonna know exactly what's gonna happen. But I do see Tesla really, really turned a corner on this last earnings report. So do me a favor before we get started, guys, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video. I appreciate all the support and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. All right, guys, so I really want to kind of browse through this kind of fast. This is a stock market channel. I want to focus on the stock market side of things, but this was a really, really big showing with a lot of exciting things, including an electric ATV, okay? Now, there was not a lot of details shown about this ATV, so this might uh, just kind of be a little, what I would call like a hook, something to just get people interested, get people talking. But it was definitely a uh, very eye-catching and electric ATV with a helmet. And I know, a lot, like I said, if a lot of people had the opportunity to buy this thing, they probably would like on day one. It'd probably sell out every single one of these they produce would sell out. So let's see, uh, like I said, nothing concrete yet. Let's see what direction that goes. So let's talk a little bit about the specs of the Cybertruck. Guys, they're pretty insane. It's delivering 500 plus miles of range in its priciest configuration. And Tesla still needs to maintain the price range between $40,000 and $70,000 to actually hit showrooms in 2021. It's reported that a federal EV tax credit still available by then. Also mentioned that it has a tow rating of 7,500 pounds and a zero to 60 miles per hour time of 6.5 seconds, a dual motor. So the Cybertruck with a single motor is gonna sell for 39,000, a dual motor for 49,000, and that one can tow up to 10,000 pounds and reach 60 miles per per hour and 4.5 seconds. This thing is insane. It almost feels like it's a page taken out of Blade Runner, like a futuristic kind of concept car. And it's just uh, got everybody on their hands and feet. Very, very excited. And then right here, guys, they actually took a sledgehammer to this thing and cracked it with a, you know, cracked the door panel with a sledgehammer a couple of times and it barely did anything to it. So this thing is very sturdy, very strong, probably not the kind of vehicle that you are going to want to get into an accident with. Now, like I said, there has been a very mixed reception on the look of this thing. I think it looks really, really cool. Like I said, it kind of has a Pontiac Aztec kind of look to it. A lot of people think this is the ugliest thing that's ever been put out. Whatever it is, it's extremely unique. We've never really seen a vehicle like this before. And then lastly, guys, uh, the glass. So Elon Musk actually urged Tesla's design boss to throw a heavy steel ball at the driver's window of the actual truck. And as you can see here, it shattered. And then he picked it up and threw it in the passenger window and it shattered two different times. <laughs> this is not something I'm really too worried about. Like I said, this is something uh, still in its design phase. And I, I think they need to go back to the drawing board and either change the advertising 
or change the design of these windows okay or at least you know take off the fact that they're shatterproof they won't break that they're indestructible I don't really know what they have to do. I'm not going to be buying one of these things anytime soon, but I thought it was a really, really cool event. And as a result of that, I thought the shares were going to jump maybe five, maybe 10% the next day. And that is not at all what happened. As a matter of fact, it was the exact opposite. And so coming into Thursday, Tesla was trading all the way up to $360 a share seen a little bit of a downturn on a bit of a weaker market looked like the indexes were diving a little bit thursday at close uh, and as soon as the market opened on friday tesla stock dropped 30 dollars a share to 330 and closed the day at 333 dollars so again just uh, kind of reminds me of the apple event and the facebook event you want to go back to march when apple had their event where they announced the apple credit card and Apple Gaming and uh, Apple TV Plus. I thought we were going to open the market 10, maybe $20 in the green the next day. The stock barely budged. And then when Facebook had their investors day a while back, I was expecting a big jolt in the stock price and it was flat. And then now Tesla on their big announcement, like I said, I was expecting uh, to see 375 or 380. And actually, I think what we got here was another buying opportunity. Let's go and try to map out what exactly happened here. Why did Tesla lose $30 a share value overnight on this exciting news? One of my students reach out from Trade Alerts Pro, ask me, Jeff, what is going on with Tesla stock? And so I already have made some exclusive content for my course. I have not uploaded it to the course yet. Much, much more exclusive, much more derivative to the price of the stock. If you do want to check that out, guys, make sure to sign up for Trade Alerts Pro. It is the first link in my description box. So why were the shares of Tesla down? There's actually a couple different theories out here in Wall Street. One of them being uh, Tesla stock is down just because it's been up so massively. Shares have went up roughly 50% over the past three months, pushed higher by better than expected third quarter numbers. Friday's decline does appear to be related to the truck's design. The body is stainless steel, which involves the defunct DeLorean. Also, a demonstration of the truck's armored glass went awry. Now, I don't think that the demonstration of the unbreakable glass really had anything to do with the reaction of the stock price. This is my personal opinion. I think Wall Street is going to view this as a very, very large investment on the front end to get these going and get these produced, Make give them a lot of challenges fundamentally. I guess another way you could kind of look at it too is that Tesla just had a their best quarter and they had big guidance going forward. So once they start investing money into this, it could really affect cash flow and obviously profitability. Wedbush came out, they think that the Cybertruck design was eye-popping, but voices concern on the market size. From a demand perspective, this will be more of a niche market as we believe hitting the 150K to 175K unit threshold in its first full year of deliveries is the line in the sand out of the gates could be a very tough number to hit. And again, we all know Tesla has had difficulties reaching their numbers uh, for multiple years before. That explains the vo big volatility in the stock price from 2017 to mid-2019. You know, something we could compare this to, okay, the leader of the market, which is Ford, roughly sells 1 million F-150 pickups per year. In a nutshell, we believe this next generation Cybertruck model could help Tesla expand its market opportunity outside its core customer base over time. Although gaining market share with stalwarts such as Ford and GM entrenched in this landscape would be very, very difficult. So I think it's one of those things that are entering a new market. The stock has been up massively over the past three months and you can really view this as a big buying opportunity. Citigroup came out of the gate early with analysis of the impact of Tesla's new pickup truck. Their analyst uh, says the firm's data suggests Ford has more headline risk than General Motors from the buildup to the truck launch and eventual market share loss. Okay, he also noted that Ford generates more truck profit from the 60,000 plus price level where Tesla's likely truck line will be focused as well. If Ford has a hedge in the EV truck game, it's through the investment in Rivian. The EV truck startup aims to have its own model for sale by the end of next year. So I think, like I said, guys, just overall mixed reaction. People think anytime Tesla launches a new product, they think, oh man, you know, they're going to take a lot of steps backward before this thing's going to be profitable. That's actually a very solid point. But part of investing in a company is taking these lumps and it did trade down $30, but it's been up over 50% over the past three months. So 
that is about the best I can explain it. Like I said, just a lot of mixed reception, okay? There was not necessarily a black and white reason why it lost $30 a share value. Again, a couple of analysts can come out, throw a little water on the fire, and uh, $30 can fall off the share price that fast. And also, guys, keep in mind this news really just hit today. Uh, Elon Musk said on Saturday there's been about 150,000 orders thus far for the electric car maker Cybertruck, which was unveiled late on Thursday. 146,000 orders so far, 42% choosing dual, 41% choosing tri, and 17% choosing single motor, okay? So, just as soon as this $30 of value has fell off the share price, uh, it could boost it right back up, kind of looking at what pre-sales might be. You know, 150,000 orders, that is a huge number, and it could grow very, very quickly. So that's really all I got for the video, guys. Make sure to go down in the comments and share your thoughts and opinions about this. I would really like to hear that. Thank you, as always, for watching the video, and have a great day.